Hello students, in this video we'll discuss the solutions of the wave equation over the entire real line using the Fourier transform. Our PD we'll consider now is this one, is UTT, so two time derivatives, is C squared, where C is usually the speed of light, UXX, and then we have two initial conditions. We have that U of X and zero is a function half of X, sufficiently smooth, and then UT X zero is a function G of X. Our domain over here is going to be negative infinity less than x less than positive infinity, and t is going to be greater than or equal to zero. And I want these functions to have Fourier transforms. Must have Fourier transforms. For this problem. Of course, there are more general approaches to the wave equation when you don't need such regularity, but for this problem, we're going to focus on the Fourier analytic approach to this, okay? And so what we're going to do is we're going to take this problem, we're going to Fourier transform the x variable over here. So we're going to Fourier transform the x variable. Okay, when we Fourier transform the x variable, what does our equation become? Our equation becomes partial squared, partial t squared, u hat, I have Fourier transforming, we're going to let the think of this function as an x and t, right? So then I have Fourier transform x, so that becomes an xc t, so I Fourier transform the, that part over there. And this is equal to negative, as we've seen before, 4 pi squared xc squared, that's my rule for the derivative. And then what? And then u hat xc and t. And so now we have this, now we've turned this, of course, into an ODE. That's the beauty of the Fourier transform, is it turns a PDE into an ODE, at least in two dimensions, right? And so now, and of course, these are linear, so that will turn into a, a constant coefficient ODE with respect to one of the variables being frozen, basically. So this is d squared with respect to time plus 4 pi squared xc squared. This differential operator applied to u hat xc t is equal to zero, that's our ODE, right? And from ODE theory, we know that when you have d squared plus a squared is equal to zero, you get cosine of at and sine of at is your solutions over here, okay? So our solution to this, therefore, our u hat of xc and t is gonna be what? It's gonna be a constant c1 of xc, because the constants depend on xc now, cosine of two pi modulus xc of t plus c2 xc, sine 2 pi modulus six c t, like that. That's our solution. And so now, of course, I'd like to find what these c1 and c2 are, right? So of course, if I plug in, so now by assumption, those functions have Fourier transforms. So I know that u hat, u hat of xc zero is equal to f hat of xc, and u t hat xc zero is g hat xc, okay, great. And so now what? And so now when I plug in, so when I plug in zero to this formula, we can conclude what? We can conclude that C1 of xc is u hat of xc zero it has to be the same thing as just f hat of xc. So we can replace the C1 with f hat of xc. That's great. So my u hat of xc is going to be u hat of xc t is going to be f hat of xc cosine of 2 pi modulus xc t, like that. And the question is, what's this c2 going to be? Well, we have to do the derivative of this u hat. So what's, what's my u hat? What's u hat? u hat t xc t. Well, it's going to be f hat xc, and then, because that's my f hat xc, then the derivative of cosine is sine, so I'm going to sine 2 pi modulus xc t times the derivative of that expression with respect to t, so it's just going to be a 2 pi, so, so I'm sorry, derivative of cosine is negative sign, negative, and then a 2 pi modulus xc, okay? And the derivative of sine is cosine, right? So that's going to be a plus c2 xc, and then cosine of 2 pi modulus xc t times what? 2 pi xc, like so. Okay, great. So when I plug in zero of this, the sign's going to go away. So I know that g hat of xc, g hat of xc, is going to be c2 xc times what? This is going to be c2 xc. It's going to be a 1 times 2 pi modulus xc. So therefore, c2 of xc is really g hat of xc over 2 pi modulus xc. Excellent. Okay, so now we fill this into our formula over here. And so now we have plus plus what? Plus g hat xc over 2 pi xc sine of 2 pi xc t. 
Beautiful. Now, to do the, to find the solution itself, I'll just use Fourier inversion, right? Now, technically, what we could do is we can use some distributional identities because we can use the fact that by Euler's formula, I can this in terms of the complex exponentials. However, we need to basically bank on some distributional theory for Fourier transforms, which we haven't discussed yet. We'll discuss that in further videos. For the time being, I'm just going to use straight Fourier inversion. So, by Fourier inversion, by Fourier inversion, my u of x and t. It's going to be the integral over r of this function over here. So this is going to be f hat of xc cosine 2 pi xc t plus g hat xc over 2 pi xc sine 2 pi modulus xc t. And all of this is the is my Fourier transform. And to do inversion, what do I need to do? So this is my t's. I do an e to the 2 pi i x t. And this is going to be a, excuse me, so e to the 2 pi i, not x t, 2 pi i x x c. And these are d x c integrals. So that's the Fourier inversion formula. So this is going to be the solution of our wave equation. As I mentioned, too, it's a good exercise to check by using Euler's formula that if we plug in Euler's formula, what we get, I'll exactly derive D'Alembert's formula in one dimension if I do this carefully enough. So, but for the time being, we, we won't use any delta function theory. We'll just say that by Fourier inversion, this is going to be the solution of the wave equation. Now, it's actually remarkable that this is the exact same structure that you're going to see in higher dimensions. So, this exact form is going to work for the wave equation in higher dimensional space as well. So, in other words, not just for uh, just for a function of two variables x and t, but I can actually let the spatial variable x be in d-dimensional space and then do higher dimensional Fourier transforms. The same solution structure will persist for the wave equation. Thank you very much.